this is part two. Uh, part two about the Brianna Taylor case. Like I was saying, a lot of people... Fan keeps blowing the hair in my face. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, people. If you get annoyed by, like, just I can't stand the tickling on my face. Um, but what I was saying is a lot of people want to stomp around and get mad. And, like, it's... And, and they have a right to and they should. But... The issue is you're stomping around to what end? It just, you know, it just doesn't lead anywhere. Um, and and like I said, salute to all of my my brothers and sisters in the in the movements in the '60s and the '70s who worked hard. Um, the Tom Haydens, the Bobby Seals, the 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 Abby Hoffmans, some of the people had to, they have to live out of another country, like Tupac's mom, what Shakana Shakur, who had to leave this country. Some people are still political prisoners, locked up and 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 incarcerated in a prison to this day. That people don't talk about the political dissidents that are locked up in our prison system, um, but. Um, it, it just never ends, you know. It just takes takes time to change. Change takes time. But we live in such a uh, society in a time with social media that everybody wants everything immediate, immediate, immediate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now, now. And it did, you know, you have to tell the young people from the old heads that, like me, who are like, you know, there are people fighting this fight before me. When, when I'm dead and gone... Hopefully my kids will be fighting this fight. You know the the problem the problem is is that um, there has to be some some semblance of progress, and there really hasn't been a lot of progress um, it, with government with thing. And 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 I tell people don't get it twisted. That's deliberate. Um, both sides of the party spectrum, whether you're Republican or Democrat, are pretty much owned and run by rich people, corporations lobbyists, unions, um, on both sides of the political spectrum. There's really no, there's, you know, there's extremes um, to each political spectrum. Um, and, and there are definite differences between Republicans and Democrats, like definite differences in ideology and voting bloc. Like, again, it's the, the point of a politician is to be elected in office, is to get votes. So depending on your constituents, you have to do, according to what your constituents wants wants you to do. So if 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 you know that you need a, a vote from a certain demographic of people, yeah, you're going to you're you're you're, you're going to kind of do things to try to help them because you need their vote. So that's basically what voting boils down to. Um you know, and then on top of that the corporations will power as well. So you you're you're being held to lobbyists and corporations and then also you're constituents and then also your own moral fabric and character and opinions as well but with the Breonna Taylor case like I said there's no easy answers because their 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 police reform is just a gobbledygook of things and, and I've said it before the system is doing it's working well it's doing what it's supposed to do stop crime over police bad neighborhoods um yeah that's 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 just you know kind of what it's supposed to do and I just that there's no easy solution you can defund the police you can rearrange the money and that will help but I still don't think this is going to stop people from getting killed like you know and I and, and as for police brutality I think all people need to speak up for police brutality there's a reason I, I think I have opinions why they just keep showing black people getting shot and killed because to be honest with you, white people get killed too. Hispanic people get killed too. Um, in police brutality, police, you know, police brutality affects everybody, but it's just the fact it is, is that people don't stand up and say anything. A lot of people, family members get arrested and they're ashamed. They don't, they try to distance themselves from that person. And, and that's you know, and I, if a person has a gun and they're threatening the police officer and they get shot, okay, that's different. But if you know that your loved one disappeared or got roughed up in jail or, or not even killed, but just beaten. I know white people who, who, who I know someone in particular whose family member was killed by police on some straight up bullshit. But their family was too embarrassed to say anything. Their family won't come forward and say anything because they considered... They considered that family member to be like, 
well, they shouldn't have got arrested. You know, I like I said, I'm not trying to paint all white people like they feel that way, but I think in some in some instances with with, with white people getting killed by police or beat up, it's kind of like, well, they shouldn't have got in trouble. It was kind of like kind of like a feeling like they kind of deserved it because the person who did were accosted by the police were somebody who was a black sheep of the family anyway. It wasn't somebody who was, you know, a lot of times it was their family member, they were a drug addict or they were in and out of jail. And it's like sometimes people want to distance from that. They don't really want to embrace that family member or say anything because that just is going to bring more scrutiny and they just don't want to deal with it. And I think that that needs to stop as well. Everybody needs to come forward and report these things and bring these things towards the media whenever they, they're happening. There was a 13 year old autistic boy, white boy, like kid, white kid that got killed. And I think that they, that should be screamed to the rooftops because reading the case, that's, this 13 year old kid was autistic. He was mentally ill. He shouldn't have been shot and killed by this police officer. He, he The police officer, I guess, thought he was holding a weapon. I forgot what state it happened in, but that's a tragedy and a shame as well. The point is that if I go kill and shoot somebody, I go to jail. If you killing somebody's police officer in a line of duty, you just even if you're not in line of duty, um, look at the both in both in Jean case where she wasn't in the line of duty, she just walked in the wrong house and shot a dude. But it's just kind of like police officer is like there's just reverence that I just I, I just you know I understand if you're in the line of duty and you know people resist arrest and they shouldn't be resisting arrest and all that still doesn't mean the person deserved to die but then I'll at least give you benefit of doubt but there have been instances where people have done nothing to they get pulled on a traffic stop and they're reaching for their wallet or reaching for the in the glove compartment or trying to tell them that they're trying to get their wallet and then the police is like oh my god I fear for my life and shot shot them okay that's not right either so you know, I mean, is it more training? Yeah. Is it police culture that needs to change? Yeah. And again, my whole thing is infiltration. You have to get more people who are like us involved in law enforcement. You, you I have law enforcement in my family who are upstanding, good people who, who see the shit that's going on, too, and they don't like it either. And and then you have people who are officers who are bad. But the point is, is that the bad ones speak for it in Tennessee to cover up and then people just keep quiet. Like I said, them emails that were sent in Louisville from the police captain who, which by the way, if it wasn't for protesters and people making inroads in civil rights and, 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 and gender equality, she wouldn't have the damn job as a police captain. She would be high, She would probably most likely be a dispatcher or a secretary or be at the precinct working behind a desk somewhere because back in the seventies and the sixties, that's pretty much where they were. There weren't too many female police captains running around out there. So the idea that she's going to throw people under the bus because they're protesters when if it wasn't for people standing up for a woman's rights, she wouldn't have the job that she had. Isn't that ironic? I ain't that about a bitch. Yeah, so the things that police say and the way they act and the things that I've seen in these police Facebook groups, oh yeah, I'm there, hello, and these police face Facebook groups, is atrocious the way they talk about people i'm like if you feel that way why even work that job why even do, i'm not gonna say i'm i'm an accountant by trade i'm not gonna be like you know what i'm tired of these damn spreadsheets fuck these spreadsheets you know <laughs> like and then just just proceed to like trash my industry oh god i hate the travel industry these people suck at these hotels i mean i understand people having like problems about their jobs and they want to riff it and, and you want to you want to make jokes and stuff like that but at the end of the day if i have that much contempt for what i do i'm not gonna work that job so but yeah that's my that's my word on the street um from a former law student and a protester of the Breonna taylor case so y'all have a good day like share subscribe um Watch uh, Teflon TV tonight. We're going to talk about Lovecraft. They're going to talk about Lovecraft Country. And I'm, you know your girl going to be there. You know your girl going to be there. So anyway, every every Sunday, Saturday, Teflon TV, YouTube channel, Teflon After Dark. They do a little, you, and we sit around and drink and we talk about all kinds of crazy shit. And then on Lovecraft, Lovecraft Country on Sunday nights. And I get on there too, Teflon TV. So, uh, but yeah. But that's my opinion, so comment if you don't agree, you do agree, whatever. Restarting this YouTube thing. Y'all have a good day. Have a good Sunday.